Hello, it's Kamo, and welcome to another episode. You can probably probably guess what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna prepare some potions and get started here. Hopefully, I'll be okay. Last time, this guy gave me a bit of trouble, but should be okay. I hope. I, I guess it's just the protection thing, or maybe it's the randomness from Pal. Animus from uh, the power and smite not doing enough damage. Whatever the case. That's one down. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ow. Ow. This wither effect is awful. Oh. Uh. Should have chosen a better place to do this. Anyway, let's check uh, regen about 40. Should probably drink it again just in case. I'm going to need it after that wears off anyway. Uh, yeah, so killing a couple withers here. Uh, been doing a bit of stuff, but haven't really recorded. Just haven't really had enough to record, I guess. That's the biggest issue. So let's see. Okay, drink another regen. I guess it was just the randomness, because sometimes the power and smite don't do enough damage. We'll see after this guy. Hopefully he won't kill me. Oh, I've got four instant health potions, he better not kill me. I'd be pretty bad at this game if that happened. Ah, I can't. Oh no. So two more nether stars, so two more beacons. And then we can have a full array of four beacons in our our, our perimeter. So yeah. As you can see, I got some wither skull wither skeleton skulls. That didn't take me too long because I have that platform set up probably about I don't know. Or not two wither skeleton skulls. Six wither skeleton skulls. Enough for two withers. Didn't take me too long because um platform spawns enough guys. I can just sort of run around on there and get quite a few of them. With a looting sword it's pretty quick. Yeah. I've as you can see, done a bit out here. Let me let me go put my stuff away and gra grab some iron and I'll hop down there and start talking about it a little bit. So see you in a little bit once I grab that stuff. Okay, so I came back to the perimeter, went, put away the stuff and grabbed some stuff to set up some beacons. And I think it's, uh, I guess you could say it's official, I am bad at this game. <laughs> so trying to get a good look up here and I end up dying and losing my 29 levels which were almost 30 levels which I was so looking forward to using. Uh, oh well. I got all my stuff back at least and uh, yeah I just wanted to give you a look at the perimeter here. Let's take a step back so we don't fall. As you can see it's pretty foggy back there. Um, it's actually deep enough now that the fog is sort of obscuring everything now. I think it's on far. Let me check that. Yep, far. So, uh, you can see, getting pretty deep. I'll jump down there right now as well so we can get a better look. But, yeah. Pretty deep feeling here. 
though it is still quite a bit to go as you can see we've got we're at level 33 now yeah i only dig dug down 10 i think from last time in this entire thing so 10 levels down i think that's where i was not exactly sure but yeah set up right now the beacons are over there and i've got these platforms here where i'm going to set up the beacons that we just made or yeah just made so now i'll be able to cover the entire thing and i don't have to worry about moving the beacons which was kind of a pain to do i didn't well making excuses but part of the reason i was slowing down i'm going to say is because i didn't want to move the beacons but like i said i'm making excuses really i was Playing on the server with JL and the the server crew, so that actually takes most of my time recently. Sort of been anticipating 1.5, which is coming soon, and I am very excited about. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably upgrade to the snapshot at some point, or one of the latest snapshots. They look pretty stable now, mostly just fixing bugs. So, probably that soon. But yeah, I have been playing in this world. I mean, even though I'm making excuses for not playing, I have been playing. I did get some digging done. Mostly, though, I just haven't been recording, because I haven't felt like I've had enough material to record. Like, it's been sort of pieces of it at a time. And, well, now I felt like I, I kind of need to put out an episode. I'd like to record more just with all this digging. I haven't really had anything else to do, just little side things here and there. But I'm going to record an episode today. I'm still not exactly sure what I want to do. I think maybe go exploring or something. So I want to find a witch hut if possible. Um, I don't know if there's going to be one in the area, but it would be nice. So let's see, haste two. All right, so that's three beacons. So that's what we might do today. Go look for a, a witch hut or something. Who knows? Um, about the server. Right, so as I guess most of you probably know, we are... Ooh, zombie. We are planning on starting a new server very soon. I'm not exactly sure when. Don't know all the details on when we'll be starting, but we are planning to. And I will probably be starting a series for that server. So, if you have any suggestions, I'd be interested in hearing them. I'll, of course, do my own thing, but, you know, have anything you'd like to see in particular, maybe we can start with suggestions very much looking forward to that because I wasn't really a big part of let's count that yes I did wasn't really a big part of a, a lot of the things for the current version of the server we have I mean I did help with a lot of the recent projects but up until I joined which was pretty far into the, the life of the server. Uh, there were a lot of things that I wasn't involved with. But yeah, so it'd be fun to, to start fresh and, you know, start w everything with everybody. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish setting up this beacon and then, you know, sleep and and get back to you once I've done that, because you probably don't want to watch me just setting up beacons all day. So I'll be right back. See you in a minute. All right, all the beacons are set up. Uh, ice machine is still running. This works really well, and I'm also really glad that of all the things we could have built with buds, 
we built one of the things that hasn't broken in the snapshots. Ice still, ice freezing still triggers buds, so happy about that. Uh, <laughs> so this should still work after the 1.5 patch. Yeah, four beacons set up in the corners now. Of course, later on these will be probably set up as quadruple beacons, um, so that we can get all of the status effects except for haste, because we probably won't need haste, especially since everything will be cleared out anyway. Just wanted to give another look from a different angle. Pretty cool, I think. I uh, can see some slimes down there. They've been giving me a bit of trouble. I thought they would be easy to deal with because they're so, sort of slow, but they actually they can actually become a pain because the little ones are actually kind of fast and the little ones will um they'll bounce around you and get in the way of your pick <laughs> kind of annoying kind of funny but anyway while i was setting that up i decided on one of the things i want to do this episode i'm going to head over to the experimental village area yeah over there again don't worry i'll be quick i'm not going to set up the village i've already set up a village actually i just want to show what i've done so I'm going to hop over there quickly. Just some ender pearls. Man, lost those levels. I'm so disappointed in myself. Ah, it happens though. That's why we have enderman farms. Ah. Well. Oh yeah, cows too. I, I did some reading of cows. So I figure I'll probably be enchanting books soon as well. I want to get a, a pair of silk touch shears. Um, haven't done anything with ah haven't done anything with um books yet but I'd like to so breeding cows for leather and beef uh so maybe we can get silk touch shears sometime in the future they're somewhere over here I just dug a hole for them uh there they are killed most of them already. Looting sword. But anyway, so you've seen that one where we didn't actually harvest any iron golems, and you've seen this one where we did actually harvest quite a few iron golems using this thing, enough to set up two more beacons, which is nice. Finally have a full four beacons set up. I actually, um, had mined enough iron for two of those beacons by hand, which I find pretty ridiculous. Kind of hard that I believe it. Oh, and then here's the third one. So yeah, the third one is a little bit different here. This is probably what I'm going to go with in the final version. Oh, not not the bottom here. This is just so that I can AFK without getting killed. Um, let me hop up in here. As you can see, it's got two levels. And this is because... I was being an idiot. I read the code and I saw a three in it, so I thought, oh, the levels are three blocks, or the spawning range is, oops, I don't want to do that, I want to leave that open. Spawning range is three blocks tall. That's uh, not the case, it's actually six blocks tall. I just misread the code. Um, so yeah, this is set up to take advantage of that two levels of spawning. Uh, let's see if I can can remember how to get in. I don't think I have an entrance, actually. Where are these guys? Maybe over here. Yeah, I can probably come in here. So, I've sectioned them off. That way none of the uh, doors will become inactive. You can see I've sort of divided it into eight sections. So now, uh, whenever there's a villager in one of these sections, which I would do anyway, I'd want to split them up. I can just keep all of the doors in range active, which is good because before um, I mentioned this at the end of the last episode, I think, but in the previous design, they would all bunch up in the corner. And the result would be that the doors on the opposite corner would become inactive and 
break. Or, well, they would cause the village to shift over to the side, and as a result, I'd get um, iron golems spawning on the outside. But this one solves that problem. It's two levels, so it takes advantage of the fact that you can have two levels of iron golems spawning. Uh, what else? I guess that's about it. Nothing really special, but yeah, I'll just be using that design pretty much more or less for the iron golem farms that I set up in the perimeter once that's cleared out. But until then, just going to use that as my AFK iron golem killing collection spot. Some enderman damage here. Yeah. Oh yeah, speaking of last episode, I asked a question whether or not I should make a series for mob spawning or to do it in a single episode and it was overwhelmingly like 100% I don't think I had a single comment saying to do anything else um, say said to make a series and so yeah I'll definitely make a series on that I'm planning to wait for 1.5 because I don't want to be surprised if there are any changes to the mob spawning in 1.5 I don't think there will be but just in case I don't want surprises. So I'll be waiting for 1.5 and then after that hopefully we'll get series out pretty quickly and everybody will know how mob spawning works. And I don't know. They'll probably change it in the future. I would expect them to. But we'll see. I don't know what uh, Mo Yang's decision on adding more mobs or changing the way mob spawning is, but I expect there are going to be changes because right now it's a little bit annoying. Kind of, it, it's not hard to understand, but there's some issues with it. Like in multiplayer, you don't have, I mean, you do have a shared mob cap so that you can completely break the mob spawning for some people or uh, screw somebody over. You know, you can break their mob traps or flood them with mobs and they'd be surrounded when they're caving and make it much diff more difficult for them. Not that that's necessarily a problem. Some people might like that. There's a swamp somewhere around here. I think. I didn't imagine it, did I? No, oh, yeah, sorry. I'm sort of exploring while talking. I wanted to see, if, or I was looking for swamps, maybe if I can find a witch hut. Oh, it was further that way, I guess. Yeah, because that's where we cut down those jungle trees to get saplings. Uh, yeah. Okay. I do not have a sword. That's great. Maybe I should... Maybe I should find a way to, to rest through the night. Or at least make a sword. I'll make a stone sword. At least I have something. I don't have, even have armor. Jeez. Bit careless. Going out exploring without anything. Right. Let's do stone swords. Just two of them for now. That should be enough to keep me alive, if nothing else. Nope, nope, nope. Alright. So, swamp. It's unfortunate that I think I've already generated this swamp, so I won't be able to see if there's a witch hut in it or not. Hmm. I could use my mod, I guess. It would show if there's a witch hut. But I don't feel like it. So I'll just keep going out further. Keep looking. Maybe I should use a, a mist. A, a midst? A midst. Ugh. Ooh, that's a nice... Whoa! I was going to say that's a nice looking jungle from the distance. Creeper. Uh. Well, whatever. 
kind of interesting. Oh. Swamp jungle transition. Kind of like it. Good thing about jungles is not actually a lot of space for hostile mobs to spawn because of the leaves. And, you know, these vines, they occupy airspaces that cuts down on mob spawning quite a bit. So lots of things in the way to reduce mob spawning, so they're kind of fun to explore at night. Don't have to worry about, you know, ambushes. And once in a while you'll see cats too. Which is always fun. Is this Jungle Hills? Yep. Oh, I found there's the first emerald ore was found in the uh, perimeter. Apparently part of it was in extreme, extreme hills, so there's some emerald ore. Okay. Whoa. Was it me, or did that creeper just move really quickly? <laughs> that was kind of scary. Swamp, swamp, swamp. There's a lot of jungle over here. Wow. I guess they're so it's probably all connected somehow. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it just looked like it was connected. Where are we? Negative, ooh, careful. Wow, pigs. Negative 8, 980. So we're sort of heading in the positive Z direction. That's alright. Hey, let's explore that way. It's a good direction to explore. We've already gone pretty far out, I think. Like, what was it? 1300 in the positive X towards that desert. First place we got sand. Is that? No, it's forest. Oh, there are sheep there. I could have made a bed. Ah, too late. That's alright. So, mostly just seeing trees. I haven't really seen... Oh, a village. A desert village. That's kind of cool. Let's check it out. Probably nothing particularly interesting. We've already got a lot of villagers, but there's going to be a priest. Redstone. Uh, what's this? Librarian? Whoa. In the ground. <laughs> okay, come back. Come back. Glass. Ah, uh, of course. What? You villagers need to light up your houses. You're letting spiders in. Unless that was your pet. If that was your pet, I'm sorry. I did not mean to kill your pet giant spider that attacks humans in the dark. Um, these doors are already gone. Maybe they didn't generate. This one is broken. It's a pretty big, pretty big village. What's this? Another library? I think it's a library. Whoa! Okay. This village is big enough to have an iron golem. Why isn't there one? It seems to be big enough anyway. Not a library, just an empty house. Spider house. And this... Where's the door? Oh. These villages sometimes generate funny. I mean, seriously. Completely useless structures. 
So I think that's it in this village. No blacksmith, apparently. Just, just a librarian and a priest. What's this? Oh, that was my pick. This is... Oh, that is a creeper. It's almost day. Just another weird house. Broken door. Okay, let's keep looking for a swamp. Oh, is that a swamp? Yes. Okay, so maybe we'll find a hut in here. So we found a desert village and a swamp at around 13... minus 1300z. That's a lot of water. There's a river. This seems to be a kind of pathetic swamp. I don't want to deal with you. Ow. What? Get me out. Hum. 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 Really want to find a witch hut if possible. Quiet. That's another thing. I never found slimes as annoying as I do now. I mean, they're loud. Why are they so loud? Okay, so this swamp isn't as bad as I initially thought it was. Maybe we'll find something here. Maybe not. Hello. I'm going to avoid you. Well, I think this swamp was not the one we were looking for. It's pretty big, but I don't see a witch hut. They generate in 32 by 32 chunk blocks. Oh, is that a hut? I think that's a hut. Something over there. Oh yes, it's a hut. Okay, we found one. It's all screwed up looking. A black witch hut. Not Not a black witch, just a black hut. It's fixed now. Let's check. Oh, please, I'll be swamp. I can do it on, underneath. Okay. Looks like it's all in swampland. Ah, uh, river here. Okay. One block, not in swampland. In the corner. But everything else seems to be. I think we're good. This is pretty good. I can... I can be satisfied with just one block being in the river. It's just one block here. So two layers of our spawn or of our witch, uh, witch trap, which I'll probably build here, will, or two blocks of it, one for the two layers, will be in river and we won't include those in the build. But yeah, yay, found a, found a witch hut. All right, so I'm going to mark this location down, minus 490, 1250. Okay, and I guess we'll head back to the base, so I'll see you there. Uh, as I was turning around to head back, I saw that m mountain formation over there, and I really want to check it out now, because it looks kind of cool. Since we're in exploring mood, I'm going to hop over there and, and take a look. It's like, ah, if it weren't for these black spots, that would look pretty cool. Let's see if we can get rid of them. Uh, 
guess can't completely get rid of them. But yeah. Natural arch with two openings. Uh, some caves exposed. Pretty neat looking, in my opinion. Hmm. Might have to preserve this when we set up the perimeter for the. I hear a skeleton. For the witch hut. Maybe do something with it. Let's see if I can get into that cave somehow. I thought there might have been something in there. Could have imagined it, but it looked like there was something from the distance. Ooh, beautiful. Be annoying to die out here. What? Okay. Oh, it's just gravel. Okay, so it's just a, a bunch of gravel that fell down, but it's still pretty cool. I really like this. Maybe we'll set up some sort of base that looks out towards the the witch hut. Mm, we can even have it transport the stuff from the witch hut over here. I don't know. That's an idea. I really like this formation. It's like one of the the nicest formations I found. That and that little, uh, what, what was it, a lagoon, I guess, that we found earlier. It's really cool. All right. Anyway, time to head back to the base. This is this is neat, but I think we gotta end the episode. So let's head back to the base. Wow. Okay. I really like extreme hills. So <laughs> just heading back and found this. It's kind of weird looking with the dark spots again, but dang. You know, I I've been in extreme hills before, but I haven't really seen formations like this. Not where there's just this huge arches. I guess it's not uncommon, but first time I've seen it. I don't do enough exploring, I assume. Oh, lava fall. That's neat. Wow. This is... <laughs> That's cool. Definitely worth it for the scenery, if not for the witch hut. Alright, I'm back at the perimeter, and before I go, just wanted to share something I found really funny with you. Check out these guys. So if you hold F3 and press B, it toggles this bounding box that you can see around items or uh, any entity actually. So you can even see it around yourself, but around mobs, items, see the wolf over there has it too, but for slimes it causes them to have this weird uh, dark eyed effect, I don't know, it tells something with the transparency so they're not rendering as transparent and it looks hilarious. So if I turn it off by pressing F3B, that's what they look like normally of course, turn it back on. It's like that outer layer of transparency around them just disappears and then they get this funny bug-eyed look. Pretty hilarious. But anyway, yep. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Once again, thank you everybody for watching. Thanks for all your comments. I really enjoy uh, hearing your feedback and I really enjoyed hearing the feedback on uh, the question I asked last time, so if you've got anything to share, please share. I try to talk to you guys as much as possible. But yeah, that's about it. Keep an eye out for new episodes for this, since we have a witch farm that we can actually start working on. Uh, and also for server Let's Play, which will come out whenever we start the new server. So yeah, that's all. Once again, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.